You're watching the news on Bahrain International. I'm Hamid Shaban. Good evening. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa, the Supreme Commander, patronized in the presence of the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander, and Prime Minister, His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa, a commemorative event marking the Commemoration Day held at the Al Sakhir Palace. Upon arrival, His Majesty the King, who was accompanied by a convoy of cavalry, was welcomed by the Commander in Chief of the Bahrain Defense Force, Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, National Guard Commander General His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa, Interior Minister General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, and Senior state officials. يصل الموكب السامي لحضرة صاحب الجلالة الملك حمد بن عيسى آل خليفة عاهل البلاد المفدى القائد الأعلى أيده الله ورعاه ترافقه كوكبة من الخيالة إلى موقع الاحتفال في قصر الصخير العامر
أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ولا تحسبن الذين قتلوا في سبيل الله أمواتا بل أحياء عند ربهم يرزقون فرحين بما آتاهم الله من فضله ويستبشرون ويستبشرون بالذين لم يلحقوا بهم من خلفهم ألا خوف عليهم ولا هم يحزنون يستبشرون بنعمة من الله وفضل وأن الله لا يضيع أجر المؤمنين الذين استجابوا لله والرسول من بعد ما أصابهم القرح للذين أحسنوا منهم واتقوا أجر عظيم الذين قال لهم الناس إن الناس قد جمعوا لكم فاخشوهم فزادهم إيمانا وقالوا حسبنا الله ونعم الوكيل فانقلبوا بنعمة من الله وفضل لم يمسسهم سوء واتبعوا رضوان الله والله ذو فضل عظيم إنما ذلكم الشيطان يخوف أولياءه فلا تخافوهم وخافون إن كنتم مؤمنين صدق الله العظيم وقد أطلقت المدفعية الآن طلقة واحدة لإعلان دقيقة صمت وستنتهي دقيقة الصمت مع الطلقة الأخرى ليتبعها عزف اللحن الأخير After that, a squadron of fighter jets from the Royal Bahraini Air Force conducted a fly pass in tribute to the fallen servicemen.
بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه ومن والاه Court of Cassation Sharia Department Chairman and Al-Fatih Mosque Imam Sheikh Adnan bin Abdullah Al-Ghahtan delivered a speech paying homage to the martyrs of the duty and praying mercy for them. داعين لشهدائنا الأبرار ماضيا وحاضرا في مملكتنا الغالية البحرين وللشهداء جميعا بالرحمة والمغفرة ودخول الجنان ونقول اللهم ارحم أرواحا صعدت إليك ولم يعد بيننا وبينها إلا الدعاء اللهم أبدل شهداءنا الأبرار دارا خيرا من دارهم وارحمهم واغفر لهم وتجاوز عن سيئاتهم ونقهم من الذنوب والخطايا كما ينقى الثوب الأبيض من الدنس اللهم وأسكنهم فسيح جناتك وبشرهم بقولك كلوا واشربوا هنيئا بما أسلفتم في الأيام الخالية اللهم ألهم آباءهم وأمهاتهم وأهلهم وأولادهم ومحبيهم الصبر والسلوان اللهم واجمعهم معهم في جناتك جنات النعيم يا ذا الجلال والإكرام اللهم آمنا في وطننا البحرين وفي خليجنا واجعل هذا البلد العزيز آمنا مطمئنا سخاء رخاء وسائر بلاد المسلمين اللهم وفق ولي أمرنا ملكنا حمد بن عيسى لما تحب وترضى اللهم احفظه وارزقه بركة في العمر ونورا في القلب ورضا في النفس وصحة وعافية في البدن وأطل في عمره وتوله بعنايتك ورعايتك وأصلح أولاده وذريته يا سميع الدعاء اللهم أقر عينه بتآلف قلوبنا واجعلنا له جنودا في الحق وعونا للخير يا ذا الجلال والإكرام اللهم إنا نستودعك وطننا وخليجنا ونستودعك جنودنا البواسل وجنودنا المرابطين الذين يحاربون عدوك وعدوهم اللهم احفظهم برا وبحرا وجوا وانصرهم على الطاغين الباغين المعتدين اللهم سدد رميهم وثبت أقدامهم وأنزل سكينتك عليهم واحفظهم في كل مكان ربنا تقبل منا إنك أنت السميع العليم وتب علينا إنك أنت التواب الرحيم سبحان ربك رب العزة عما يصفون وسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين نقرأ الآن سورة الفاتحة على أرواح شهداء الأبرار ونسأل الله تعالى أن يجعل هذه الساعة ساعة إجابة وقبول بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين آمين والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Shut up! You lost the teach teach! يتوجه سيدي حضرة صاحب الجلالة الملك أيده الله ورعاه في هذه اللحظات إلى صرح الشهيد 
ليسقي فسيلة النخل رمز الحياة الدائم. After that, His Majesty the King watered the palm tree, which is a symbol of eternal life. التذكارية التي دون عليها أسماء المواقع والمعارك التي خاضتها البحرين دفاعا عن عروبتها وسيادتها. On the occasion, His Majesty the King, the Supreme Commander, made a statement in which he expressed pride in marking the Commemoration Day in recognition of the contributions of the Martyrs of Duty since the establishment of the modern state of Bahrain, noting that they have embodied the best values of bravery and redemption, setting themselves as role models for the coming generations for patriotism. His Majesty asserted that December the 17th is an annual national occasion to commemorate the sacrifices of the brave Bahraini servicemen who lost their lives in Bahrain or abroad while defending the values of right and justice, safeguarding the national security and sovereignty in fighting terrorism in line with the precepts of Islamic religion and the deep-rooted national values. His Majesty the King, the Supreme Commander, saluted the members of the brave armed forces and security institutions for their unwavering keenness to undertake their sacred national duties in defending the homeland and its people with courage and valor. His Majesty affirmed that every fallen serviceman is a national hero who is a source of pride for his brethren of arms, noting that their heroic actions will always remain engraved in the national memory. He also noted that the families of the the martyrs are as brave as the fallen servicemen, citing their patriotism and keenness to instill the love of the nation in the minds and hearts of their sons. His Majesty the King paid tribute to the citizens for their noble stances, cohesion and keenness to support the families of the late servicemen, proving that every martyr is the son of every Bahraini in the one family Bahraini society.
Under the patronage of the National Security Advisor, the Commander of the Royal Guard, Major General His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamid Al Khalifa, and in the presence of the Commander of the Special Royal Guard Forces, Lieutenant Colonel His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamid Al Khalifa, a commemoration day ceremony was held. The ceremony began with a recitation from the Holy Quran, then one shot was fired and a minute of silence was stood which symbolizes eternal life. <laughs> الصبر والصلاة إن الله مع الصابرين ولا تقولوا لمن يقتل في سبيل الله أموات بل أحياء تشعرون ولنبلونكم بشيء من الخوف والجوع ونقص من الأموال ونقص من الأموال والأنفس والثمرات وبشر الصابرين الذين إذا أصابتهم مصيبة قالوا قالوا إنا لله وإنا إليه راجعون أولا صلوات من ربهم ورحمة وأولئك هم المهتدون صدق الله العظيم سيدي دقيقة صمت حداد على أرواح الشهداء اللهم ارحم شهداءنا الأبرار اللهم ارحم شهداءنا الأبرار اللهم ارحم شهداءنا الأبرار اللهم اغفر لهم وارحمهم وتجاوز عنا وعنهم وأكرم نزولهم ووسع مدخلهم اللهم اغسلهم بالماء والثلج والبرد ونقهم من الذنوب والخطايا كما ينقى الثوب الأبيض من الدنس اللهم ارحمنا إذا صرنا إلى ما صاروا إليه 
اللهم ابدلهم دارا خيرا من دارهم واهلا خيرا من اهلهم وزوجا خيرا من زوجهم اللهم اغفر لنا وارحمنا وتجاوز عنا واعف عنا وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم The National Security Advisor and Commander of the Royal Guard valued the giving of the martyrs and their sacrifice for the homeland, stressing that they embodied an honorable history full of sacrifices and heroism that will narrate to our children and future generations. His Highness said that their sacrifices embodies their love and devotion to the kingdom under the leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the Supreme Leader. In conclusion, His Highness urged everyone to show the characteristics of our righteous martyrs and to imitate the noble sacrifices they made based on their courage and bravery. ولا يسعني إلا أني لازم أذكركم أني أنا شخصيا حفيد لشهيد لهذا الوطن حاكم البحرين الشيخ علي بن خليفة سال الدماء بمعركة دفاعا عن مملكة البحرين فالله يتقبل جدي الشيخ علي بن خليفة شهيد من شؤداء هذا الوطن فالآن لازم نعرف ليش مملكة البحرين عصية لكل من طمع فيها لأنها من حاكم إلى جندي إلى مواطن سيل دماء في تربتها والأمانة اليوم تبقى في رقابنا نحافظ على هذه التربة اللي ربينا فيها واللي تشبعت من دماء شهدائنا الأضرار واليوم يشرفني أن أكون معاكم في هذه الوحدة العريقة اللي سطرت التاريخ وسجلت الأرقام ودافعت عن مملكة البحرين في الداخل والخارج On the occasion of the Kingdom of Bahrain's National Days, in commemoration of the establishment of the modern Bahraini state as an Arab and Muslim country founded by Ahmed al-Fatih in 1783, the anniversary of its full membership in the United Nations and the anniversary of His Majesty the King's accession to the throne, the permanent mission of the Kingdom of Bahrain to the United Nations in New York participated in the daily official ceremonies to raise the flag of the Kingdom of Bahrain at the United Nations headquarters in cooperation with the organization. Bahrain's permanent representative to the UN, Ambassador Jamal Rawai, conveyed heartfelt congratulations to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, and to the honorable people of the Kingdom of Bahrain on the occasion of Bahrain's celebrations of its national days. 
Labor Market Regulatory Authority's Chief Executive Officer Jamal Abdelaziz Al Alawi said that the issue of trafficking in persons in all its forms is considered an organized crime and that handling it requires a special set of capabilities and skills. Al Alawi said that the Kingdom of Bahrain exerts unwavering efforts and endeavors in this field by preparing and qualifying internationally recognized trainers. The program on December the 13th to the 15th targets those who deal with victims of trafficking under the supervision of the LMRA and in collaboration with the International Organization for Migration and United Nations Office on Drugs and Crime in the GCC. LMRA CEO added that training and qualifying cadres specializing in this field is the essence of combating trafficking due to the seriousness of this crime and its consequences on the stability of the community and work environment, in addition to the violation of human rights and dignity. Participating in the program are eight governmental and non-governmental bodies, including primary health care centers, National Communications Center, Ministry of Information Affairs, and Ministry of, Just of Industry, Commerce, and Tourism. In addition to the LMRA, Bahrain Airport Company, Company, Bahrain Airport Services Company and Bahrain CSR Society. The program will endeavor to develop training programs and curricula related to victim psychology, proper methods of intervention, in addition to fostering the capacity building of this targeted category from different fields to encounter or deal with victims or potential victims of trafficking through collaboration with several specialized national experts and practitioners. On the medical front, the program will promote the capabilities of identifying victims or potential victims of trafficking or those who are subject to exploitation, in addition to training and qualifying them on the diagnosis of the cases, dealing with them and adopting proper measures in this regard. While on the press and media front, the program will develop specialized training courses aimed to shed light on the various forms of trafficking through different media platforms with the aim of raising community awareness on combating trafficking in addition to the rights of migrant employees as a primary step in preventing victimization. The program also aims at developing the capabilities of shelter supervisors in dealing with and caring for victims of trafficking, in addition to the rehabilitation and reintegration of victims and gaining their trust. I'm really thankful and proud to being selected as a part of this program, and I really can't wait to pass on this knowledge and experience uh, back to my colleagues in the Ministry of Industry, Commerce and Tourism, uh, especially being part of the Inspection Directorate as a judicial officer there. Uh, we are first responders. Uh, we meet potential victims on day-to-day -day, uh, tasks, and uh, I'm hopeful that this will help us eliminate and prevent the occurrence of such a uh, crime. Actually, I'm very happy to have taken part in this workshop. Uh, it's very beneficial for us, especially as part of uh, the medical team. Uh, I think this is going to help us uh, to be able to identify victims that could come to us daily in our clinics and in the hospitals that used to be bypassed before because we didn't have this concept, this information, we didn't know these details, we didn't know how to identify them and the way that we can help them out, not just in, uh, in identifying them, no, but identifying them and making them reach to somewhere that they can get help. Today's training is another great example of the strategic partnership between the International Organization for Migration and the government of Bahrain represented by the Labour Market Regulatory Authority. Um, this is also an event, a crowning event, that, uh, that really emphasizes and captures and highlights the efforts of the government of Bahrain at the national and regional level in combating uh, trafficking in persons. More importantly, this is also a very important step in achieving uh, or implementing the uh, United Nations uh, strategic uh, framework uh, for sustainable development that was signed between the United Nations and the government of Bahrain in May 2021. Chairman of the Board of Directors of the Bahrain Motor Federation, Sheikh Abdullah bin Isa Al Khalifa, won the position of Vice President of the FIA after the victory of Mohammed bin Salayim from the United Arab Emirates of the International Federation in the elections that took place yesterday in the French capital, Paris. With this victory, Sheikh Abdullah bin Isa Al Khalifa, in addition to his winning the position of Vice President of the International Automobile Federation, becomes the President of the Middle East and North Africa region, which is regarded a Bahraini achievement added to the Kingdom's record of achievements, reflecting the great support and interest received from the leadership. On this occasion, Sheikh Abdullah bin Isa Al Khalifa congratulated the UAE on the victory of Mohammed bin Sulaim as the president of the International Automobile Federation, the FIA, to be the first Arab and Gulf nation to lead this union in its history. 
The Raja Equestrian and Horse Racing Club organized the 10th race meeting of the season on the club's racetrack in the Arafa area in Sakhir in the presence of representatives of the race's sponsors and horse racing fans. The race was held for the cups of the Al Hawaj Company, the Horse Welfare Authority, the Ibrahim bin Sa'ad al Rumehi, and the Al Wasmiya for Arabian horses. The race comprised eight events, and at the end of the race's trophies were distributed to the winners. The national vaccination campaign continues to witness a wide turnout of citizens and residents. The Ministry of Health announced that 1,194,664 had taken the first dose of the vaccine, while 1,168,298 had taken the second, and 728,541 had taken the booster dose. The ministry renewed its call for the community to commit to all precautionary measures and take the initiative to register for the coronavirus vaccine. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of active coronavirus cases reached 421 with 36 recoveries, 52 registered new cases and no deaths. 17 of the new registered cases were expatriates, 20 were contacts of active cases and are travel related. The ministry urges everyone to comply with the guidelines issued by the National Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus.